Hello everyone, today's lesson is Investigation 9, Experimental Probability. Now we've worked with probability before for different types of experiments with rolling a dice or spinning a spinner. But we can also do what's called an experimental probability, which is when we actually determine a real life situation. Okay? In this case, we have a survey. So a survey is one type of probability experiment. So let's say in this case, we're trying to figure out which grocery store is the favorite among all of the people. Okay, so we've got Bob's Market, the Corner Grocery, Express Grocery, and Fine Foods. We took a sample of 80 adults, okay, to figure, and asked them, what was your favorite market? So 30 chose Bob's Market, 12 chose Corner, 14 chose Express, and 24 chose Fine Foods. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a frequency table to figure out some information. And to do that, I'm going to draw my table, and I need to list the different groups. So we have Bob's Market, the Corner Grocery, Express Grocery, and Fine Foods. Okay. In this left-hand column, we're going to put the frequency, which is how many people voted for that one. And on the right side, we're going to put our, the fraction, basically, of each of these amounts. So Bob's Market, there were 30, 12 for Corner, 14 for Express, and 24 for Fine Foods. I could then change each of these into fractions. So the total number of adults surveyed was 80. So Bob's is 30 over 80, and we have 12 over 80, 14 over 80, and 24 over 80. So, if I wanted to figure out the probability that the town's favorite market is Bob's Market, I'm going to take my fraction here, 30 over 80, and reduce it. We know if I have a zero on top and bottom, I can cancel them. So this reduces down to 3 eighths. So the probability that... Um, the probability that Bob's Market is the favorite is going to be 3 eighths. I could also write this as a decimal. Remember to write it as a decimal. I'm going to do 3 divided by 8. So 8 cannot go into 3, so I need to add a decimal and a 0. 8 goes into 30 3 times. That's 24. Subtract. We have 6 left over. Add a 0, bring it down. 8 goes into 60 7 times. 8 times 7, I believe it's 7. Yeah, 8 times 7 is 56. Subtract 4 left over, add a 0, bring it down. 8 goes into 40 5 times. So that is. So the probability is either 3 eighths or 0 0.375. Okay. Now, if I had asked 4,000 adults which one, if Bob's was their favorite, the way I'd figure out how many would say that Bob's was their favorite is I would take 4,000 and times it by my decimal. So 0 0.375 times by 4,000. And this should tell me how many of them would say that Bob's was their favorite. So I can drop those zeros down and cross them off. 4 times 5 is 20, carry my 2. 4 times 7 is 28, 29, 30, carry the 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. I have one, two, three decimals, one, two, three decimals. So out of the 4,000, about 5, 1,500 say that Bob's is their favorite. Okay. 
So that's how we can take a sample and apply it to a bigger population. And that's it for experimental probability. Thanks for watching.